Welcome once again. Right now we're at Romans chapter 11, verses 1 through 10. Paul trashes replacement theology. Paul writes, I ask then, did God reject his people? Referring to the Jewish people. May it never be. For I also am an Israelite, a descendant of Abraham, of the tribe of Benjamin. God didn't reject his people, which he foreknew. Now, for those of you who don't know, replacement theology is the theology that says that God rejects the Jewish people today and he accepts his church as a replacement to Israel or as a replacement to the Jewish people. Paul makes it very clear here. God did not forget. God did not forsake his people. Paul says himself, he is a Jew. He is of the tribe of Benjamin. He is an Israelite. If God rejected the Jewish people, then he rejects Paul also. Or don't you know what the scripture says about Elijah, Eliyahu? How he pleads with God against Israel. Lord, they have killed your prophets. They, again, speaking about the Israelites, have killed your prophets. They have broken down your altars. I am left alone, and they seek my life. And that is found in 1 Kings chapter 19, verses 10 and 14. So Paul here is paralleling the story of Elijah with this generation, this age, this day and age, so to speak. So Elijah thought that he was the only Jew alive that was really, you know, really right with God, that really knew what was going on in the spiritual realms. That everybody else, all the rest of the Jewish people were all lost. And Paul said, look at, look at Elijah, okay? In his day, he thought that everybody but him was lost. But how does God answer him? Quote, I have reserved for myself 7,000 men who have not bowed the knee to Baal. That is 1 Kings chapter 19, verse 18. Even so then, at this present time, also there is a remnant. Here it is, a remnant. Remember Jesus said that there is a lot of people that are on the road to destruction, the wide path that leads to destruction, whereas a very, very few people are on that straight and narrow path. A remnant according to the election of grace. And if by grace, then it is no longer of works. Now, just a few chapters before this, we just came from Romans chapter 9, where Paul talks about what he means by works, grace, and election. He was saying that God chooses his people before they were even born, before they had a chance to do any good or any evil. That is God's election by grace, okay? I know a lot of Christians today, they think that grace is just somehow, well, they can just live like the devil and be basically the devil, and just by God's grace, they're covered. That is not what Paul meant at all. He defined the term grace and election by grace in Romans chapter 9. If you haven't seen that session, go back and listen to it. It is awesome. So even so, at this present time, also there is a remnant according to the election of grace. And if by grace, then it is no longer of works. Paul here is not saying, God forbid he ever say that we don't have to go by Torah no more. That's not what he's saying. He's saying that before you were born, before his people were born, he already chose them. He elected them, just like he elected Jacob before he was born, to do good works, to be Torah observant. Otherwise, grace is no longer grace. But if it is of works, it is no longer grace. Otherwise, work is no longer work. Paul here is promoting the doctrine of predestination. That's where it's all at. Again, Romans chapter 9. Go back to that session and listen to it if you haven't listened to it yet. What then, Paul asks, that which Israel seeks for, that he didn't obtain. But the chosen ones obtained it. Here we go again. Chosen ones. Very clear terminology here from a person who believes in predestination. But the chosen ones obtained it, and the rest were hardened. Who hardened the rest? Well, again, Romans chapter 9 makes it very clear. God is the one who hardens. 
according as it is written, God gave them a spirit of stupor. <gasps> you mean God would make them stupid? God gave them a spirit of stupor, eyes that they should not see, and ears that they should not hear to this very day. That is in Deuteronomy chapter 29, verse 4, and Isaiah chapter 29, verse 10. David says, Let their table be made a snare, a trap, a stumbling block, and a retribution to them. Let their eyes be darkened that they may not see. Always keep their backs bent. And that is Psalm 69, verses 22 and 23. Here again, Paul makes it very clear. His whole doctrine of grace, works, election comes from this whole foundation of predestination that God predestines people from before they were born. That's why it's not by works. God chose Jacob and God hated Esau before they even had a chance to know right from wrong. Once again, seek God with all your heart, all your heart. And if you do, you will find him. Call upon him and he will show you great and mighty things. Love you guys.